uh, calcite, fluorite, and all that other kind of stuff. All right. Talc is number one. He's got to be the softest. Now, I'm going to scratch this if I can. Well, I know I can. I'm going to scratch it. Let's see if I can. It doesn't have an itch. But I think my finger is in the way. But I'll use this. Now, look. Look at the powder. Gee, talc. Powder. Does that make it talcum powder? <laughs> it does. It does. That's talcum powder. They put this in the baby's talcum powder. This is where it comes from. Did you know that? It's chopped up rocks. It's the softest rock to the baby's bottom. See, it's a nice soft rock, and it absorbs moisture, takes up moisture. Now, if you have a chance to walk through a cave, there is something we call gypsum. Oh, gypsum, gypsum, gypsum. You can also scratch gypsum. But you know, I'm using this little pointer. But what you're supposed to use are, are certain other things. And we'll get to that in the next program. All right, now let's take a look at the rest of the other five. Oh, let me just go ahead and identify these. Let's stay right here. OK, we have talc. We have gypsum. You say, how do you know which is which? Well, there are about, what is it, seven or nine different tests for rocks. So one is, of course, scratch it and see it. If every rock scratches this one, it's the softest rock in your collection. If nothing squashes it, then of course it's simply uh, not the softest. Okay, we got talc, gypsum, calcite. Yeah, the big old chunk of calcite. See the scratches on it where I've checked it out? Then after that comes fluorite. Fluorite? You ever heard of fluoride or fluorine? Yeah, they grind this stuff and they put it in your water. And they put it in your water. Now it's toothpaste. And then we have appetite. Right here's the appetite. It's a nice little yellow crystal. And then we will go on to the next five in the next program. You see, I want to keep this down to, to a part where you can almost fall asleep. I don't want you to get too bored. I want you to be able to just put this in four different segments. And what's great about the video tape, and you have it, you can run it back and play it back. And of course, with the videotape, don't forget to check your uh, vocabulary list that comes with it, your little packet. Then I have to go along and you can circle the words and you can take notes if you want to. Uh, the best people take notes, of course, are those who play instruments. You know, they're used to taking notes. But you might want to get into that. So, let me close with this idea. We had a meeting at a hotel, and they were working on the floor. And they were putting a brand new floor in the hotel lobby. And uh, I was able to get this piece because it broke. <laughs> Notice the black lines running through there? These black lines, this is where the guy was cutting and sawing on it. The black line is a different mineral, remember that word, element, going through this rock. And that indicates a weak point in the rock. You see, if you want to break a rock, look for where there's different colors. And at different colors, especially in straight lines like that, Boy, that's the place to know where to tap the rock. Okay, so this happens to be, well, let me see. Oh, let's go over here and look at this. This is scratching it, this knife. So that means it's soft. Softer than what? Well, that's the next lesson. So if you really want to get to know more about all this stuff in science. This is going to be a whole series. This is in four lessons. And we're going to continue this. If you just keep playing the tape, you're all set. If not, take a break, go out and play a couple rounds of game or something, or just get away from it and come back and pick it up later. So I just want you to get interested in rock and mineral collecting. Start in your own backyard. Yes. And then when you go to see grandma or great aunt or uncle or somebody, Take some of those along with you. You have two and three of the same. And start trading with your nephews and nieces if you have them. If not, maybe grandma's got a rock that's been sitting out in the living room since who knows when. And when she finds out you're interested in collecting rocks, maybe she might give it to you. And please, when someone gives you a rock, of course you'll say thank you. And that's not the point. Get the story about the rock. Where is it from? Because, oh, well, your granddaddy brought it over. You know, get all that stuff and make a note of it and add that to your collection because there's a lot of stories about a lot of these rocks. So let's just uh, end it right here.
and we're going to pick up with the second half of rock hardness and all the different ways in which we can test rocks and minerals. Okay, so we'll be back as soon as you uh, start to take back up again.